Okay, this is an unusual one. I wanted to do a quick experiment. I'm gonna be doing a glazed fire. So I always like to stick something in just, just to see what happens. And I thought, you know, I've done a lot of food and it all burns away. But what about something that's kind of more mineral based? I was looking at these and uh, apparently Pepto-Bismol is bismuth subsilicate. Well, that kind of sounds like silica. Sounds like a mineral. It certainly tastes like chalk when you drink it. So I'm curious to know what happens uh, with this. And then my Lanta, which I kind of was wondering if it was the same thing. And in fact, it is not. It is aluminum hydroxide and magnesium hydroxide. Both of those sound really interesting. Um, so I want to put a little bit of, of this on each of these pieces just kind of randomly and then I'm going to spray on a Temaku on one side of them and then we'll fire it and that way we get to see you know maybe what does it look like when it's got some uh, cover on it how does it react with the Temaku and then what does it look like just on its own which I'm assuming is going to be white and chalky and hopefully it doesn't actually flake off but we'll see so first up Pepto Bismol. I'm purposely leaving it a little bit thicker at the top of the stroke just so we have some opportunity to see it doesn't matter how thick it is some gradient might as well get one in there Stick. Okay. Okay, I can't wait to see what this looks like. Now for the Mylanta. Much more runny, first of all. I'm starting to question my judgment on this here. Ooh. Already got a drip. I make these with a kind of a catch ring on the bottom specifically for glaze testing in case it runs like crazy well again I'm not optimistic whether or not we're going to see anything with these stripes What do you think? Right now, would you add more or would you just leave it alone? I'm inclined just to leave it, but I have a feeling it's going to disappear. It sure doesn't feel substantive. Well, we'll let those dry up and then spray them with some Temaku. 
That sure looks crazy, doesn't it? Well, I think those look pretty cool. Well, we'll go in the kiln tonight. And we'll find out what happens. Well, here they are out of the kiln. I think the results are actually kind of interesting. The magnesium in the Mylanta flashed darker under the glaze, whereas the Pepto-Bismol kind of went a little bit more yellow. And it is noteworthy that neither one, really, there's like a residue uh, where there isn't glaze, but oh, a little bit more with the Mylanta. You can see the white, but well, I think that's interesting. Uh, if I did it again, if I wanted to do some sort of detail before I put on a before I put on a glaze, I probably would go over it more than once, let it dry, and put it on again if I really wanted a heavy effect. But I wasn't sure you were going to see it at all. But it's very clear that both of these give visible results but again without the glaze you can't even see it Pepto-Bismol who knew